Hi Taurus, welcome to your February mid-month reading. This is for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Taurus. I would like um, to remind all of you to check out your moon and rising sign. Sometimes they do resonate a little bit better than your actual sun sign. And then I'm gonna do a little, something a little bit different this time for you. Um, we focus so much on love in the end rather than pulling a romance card. I will be touching on love as it falls through the reading, of course. But in the end, I'm going to pull a general overall card for all of you to help you in your life as well as a card for finances. So what we have for you is the Three of Swords, King of Cups, Four of Cups, Two of Swords, followed by the Hierophant, Six of Swords, Strength card, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. So when it comes to love, I'm going to touch on this first. As some of you have been dealing with heartache, heartbreak. Somebody broke your heart. And you've been focused on this person. Now this person you used to battle a lot, a lot of arguing, a lot of um, maybe even competition between each other. Maybe they wanted to compete with you. But although you're ready and you feel you're open for love, you may be a little bit hesitant on moving forward, a little bit afraid to make a decision to move forward. This person really deeply affected you. And you're stuck in making a decision. Do I do this or do I wait for them? You may believe they're coming back. And do I move forward? Which way are you gonna go? So you're stagnant, you aren't doing anything. The Two of Swords, in my opinion, and this is a very negative thought process because that is about indecisive, not being able to make a decision. And you're being guided to actually stand strong in who you are. Follow your belief systems, regardless of what took place with this person in the past. When you stand strong in who you are, that will help you make a decision and you're being guided to move forward. You do have the strength and the courage to move forward from any kind of negative environment or situation that you're dealing with. This could be on a romantic level, this could be family or friends. Once you get past this indecisiveness and make a decision, again, you know, and we do have the Nine of Pentacles as a clarifying card, standing strong in who you are, a very independent, beautiful, individual person who knows how to create a happy home life, a happy world. You love your home, your car, your finances are in order. You really got yourself put together and you're very happy. And again, next to it, standing strong in who you are. Once you get past this and you realize that this is what you want, you'll make that decision, you will move forward, and you will be in a position to open yourself back up out into love in general, of life, of people. Romantic, non-romantic, mostly it's love of yourself. Now, for some of you, <clears throat> yeah, you've been, you definitely have been focused on somebody in the past, and I have a feeling it was a soulmate situation where this person literally broke your heart, and you may be hearing from them, okay? There is a chance you may have reached out to them, hoping for them to contact you back, waiting for them to communicate battling inside of you. Do I let go of this heartbreak? Do I move forward? But you really are ready for a relationship. And it's very important that you make a decision one way or the other of what you're going to do. Being stagnant, being indecisive is going to hold you back. So you're being guided to actually heal your own emotional wounds, to heal the heartbreak on your own because what I'm seeing is this person is not coming back and they probably won't even be communicating with you 
in response to the message you sent them. But this is all about you opening up emotionally, healing the wounds from within, and then making the decision to align yourself with who you are so you can stand strong in yourself. Let go of your old belief system because change is going to come. It is happening and it will propel you forward once you make this decision. And it will shoot you into a direction that is actually very open and giving to you in a new relationship, but mostly within yourself, creating everything in your world where you're very, very happy, you're confident, you are strong, you are independent, and you want love rather than need love. So once you heal that heartbreak and make that decision, you will move forward. Now, when it comes to career and finance, some of you have been in a situation where there may have been a lot of competition in your work environment. Um, this could have been a very, you know, kind of painful thing because there could have been some um, backstabbing or some ill-mannered methods taking place. And the person that you're dealing with in your work environment is a very um, generous individual. They are willing to listen to what you have to share about whatever has taken place that is giving you some form of wounding in your work environment. And they are going to have a conversation with you about getting hold of you and focusing on your work and letting go of what everybody else is doing. It's going to be a really good conversation that's gonna help you get over what is taking place. And they're gonna take care of whoever did it. Don't worry about that. But their concern is making sure, because they see you as a very valuable asset to the company, they're going to make sure that you are in a good place emotionally to focus on your work and your career and continue to produce and actually be a team member because I'm seeing that you're a team member. You may feel a little bit indecisive um, as to whether or not they're going to handle this and maybe you should move forward and look for another opportunity. <clears throat> you're being guided to make sure that the decision you make is based on your own belief systems, not on someone else's belief system. This is about you making a decision on your own, not what your family and friends say, not what your coworkers say, what feels right within you. Because change is going to happen, whether it's in the work environment where this person is, that you're dealing with, your superior, is able to get things under control, um, but it's all about you moving forward having the courage to stand in what you believe, having the strength to make the changes that you need to make. So it's going to benefit you as long as you are strong in who you are in your own belief systems. Now I'm going to pull a card from The Soul's Journey. Very beautiful cards. This is an overall general uh, card for everybody. And I wanted to share these with you. So let's see what they want to share with you, Taurus. Imagination, I embrace the, and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So when you open up, I mean, when you really hold on to your imagination, that's what's gonna help you make this decision. A choice, do you stay where you're at? Do you make changes? Do you? want to let go of what took place and and move forward where you're at or in a new place. It's all about what your creative mind allows you to think and how you expand and grow as a person. That in itself will make you feel in alignment and a grounded way to make the decision that you need to make. So use your imagination as to where you want to go and how. This is for finances and these are wonderful cards. This is de defeat is temporary. One of the most common causes of failure is the habit of quitting when one is overtaken by temporary defeat. This completely ties in with the reading. Whatever's taken place in your work environment, you may actually feel defeated. But again, 
embrace who you are and stand strong in what your belief system is and you will move forward in a victorious way. I wish you a wonderful two weeks and much love.